Uh, so the challenge is going to be a first car or a starter car, uh, since I'm actually looking for one now. Uh, so basically the idea is you're going to have to build the car that you use for a starter car, except the catch is the car has to be under 5000 like dollars, like not in the game obviously because the lowest you can go is 25 but a car that would cost less than $5,000 uh, in real life. Uh, so the only, that's the catch and we're going to build it to the top of A class and that seems about acceptable. So A class 800. Uh, don't do any engine swaps and stuff. I mean, just do stuff that you would do on a Star Wars car. Maybe new brakes, new tires, maybe an intake and an exhaust, uh, maybe a turbo. Whatever you can do for a class 800, and as long as it's under 5K. So, uh, U U.S. dollars. It might be different for you live and stuff, uh, but I'm not sure. Type R. I've seen these and stuff, but I'm not sure. Um. We got a lot of work with her. I mean, we got a lot to work with. I'm liking this so far. C class. See where we can get this bad boy. And go ahead and stick a twin in there or single. A lot of options. There's your work. 235s by maybe 275s. Nope. 235s by 245s. I'll go ahead and make this. 225s. 13 more horsepower. I can possibly get 500. Uh, 800. Yes, 500 horsepower. 2,800 pounds. And we now have our Lexus SC300. I don't know what kind of power rankings you guys are making or stuff like that. Sub Connor Speed. Alright, we well look at the cars here. We got the 240 in green, the nice rims, race brakes I can see. Uh, nice aero package. I don't know what kind of uh, stuff you got under the hood there. The Miata looks kind of weird with that. But I like the blue Miata, got race brakes, got the wing too. And the hard top as well, obviously. Looking good there. The newer Miata is what Arlen's bringing to the table with some weird rims. Race brakes and a roll cage. Don't know what's under the hood there. Got my Lexus SC300. Uh, sport brakes, sport tires, and uh, 500 horsepower under the hood. The Crown Vic is probably making a whole lot of horsepower, but uh, who knows what else is happening there. I see the race brakes, it looks like, uh, but I'm not sure. So the first challenge we're going to do is a good old family friendly drag race because everybody likes drag racing, am I right? Now uh, I'm going to say the Crown Vic's going to win this one. That's just my opinion. You're making 436 horsepower. Yeah, but what's your weight though? It's all about that power to weight ratio and your tires too. I don't know what kind of tires you had. First of all, let me make sure everybody did their correct. Yes, okay, everybody did do their correct amount of. 303 lightness in the dream, Arlen. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're going to win the other challenges, but. Come on. Let's all stay in a straight line. Alright, pa my power's third gear. There goes the Miata. I'm going to top over the Miata, though. That thing's not going to hit over 180, I don't think. Ah, the Miata's going to beat me. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Miata, the 94 Miata has three points. I have two, and the 246 has one. I'm just going to keep that in the chat so we know all right we now have a good old cross-country race now this might hurt the Miatas a lot this might help the Crown Vic I don't know I mean Miata is always the answer that's all I gotta sell her
Okay. This is so much of a struggle. It does not come through on camera how hard this is right now. In this car. Probably for all the other cars too. There goes the Crown Vic. Oh my god. It doesn't help with all the dirt flying as well. All that dirt does not help, I'll tell you that right now. Two forties winning right now. Forty percent through though. I don't. I don't have this. Actually, I do have the speed over the two forty. I do know that because we drag raced. Question is, is it gonna be enough? The two forty makes a little mistake, hits a rock, and I am in first. As long as I do not mess up in the water here. Lay off the gas. I am in first. There we go. The Lexus Crown Victoria and the 240SX. So that gives me five points. That the 240 now has two. Crown Vic has two. I'm about to not even include this in the video. See, the video is going to look nicer when I record them on the PC because I can add coloring to them. Uh, Emerson is in third. I like how that's going. Break. Third gear. Nope. Too much. Too much. Too much. And I'm sandwiched in the wall. And I got a crown pick on my inside. Good pass. There we go. Keeping it clean, that's all I gotta do right now. Crap. Oh my, no, no, no. All right, Tundra missed the objective. He's out of this. That's not the 94, yeah, the 94 Miata has passed me. Currently, I win the video if it stays like this. Never mind. Emerson goes in front. I need him to miss a checkpoint or something. I'm not getting past that 240. He goes wide. I get the better exit there. Long Street. I built this car for the straight and to have decent handling. And so far I think I built that the right way. Alright, big braking zone. Wow, that is annoying. Why do you guys do that? You guys sandwiched in front of me, so it ruined any of my chances, and you guys just hurt yourself. <laughs> Halfway through the race now. A little bit of a drift tap. They both do the same thing again. Wow. Alright, it looks like Arlen is going to win the race. But unfortunately, that's only going to give him six points, which at this pace, I'll have seven if I stay in this position. So Arlen can't really win anyway. And where are... Jesus, come on, come on, stay in. Second gear. There's Staub back right behind me. Emerson must have missed the checkpoint. I'm about to win this. It's a huge straight line. I'm going to win the video at 8 points if I can continue this. It's been the first time I've won my own video <laughs> in a very long time. Oh my. I still win it though. Never mind. Oh no. 
I kept the checkpoint alive. I don't think it's enough though. I got fourth. That gives me no points. Arlen is out of it anyway. Stawback, that gives him two. 